one. Bit of a Monty update. Uh, moved house, so not really handled him for a long time, but um, today I cleaned him out. Uh, gave him a nice clean. And as you can see, he's uh, roaming around. Uh, humidity is a bit high in there. Um, it'll come down. It's new um, new substrate. I leave it out actually, and um, for any of you uh, guys getting into this, and, and I'm no expert. I've only been keeping steaks for a little while, but what I do is I, um, I open the bag as soon as I get it. And that bag's been open for a month. Oh my god, and it's still so much moisture in it. So I actually put half in this bucket as soon as I get it. And still, um, the bottom of that bucket is, is soaking wet, well, soaking wet, but it's, it's really moist. So, um, yeah, I, I, I keep half, put half. And then I, I, I mix the two together so it's, it's not so, um, so humid. But, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's looking pretty good. He's up to 500 and something grams. I posted it on the forums, 540 grams from 240 back in November. So I hadn't, I hadn't weighed him since then. I haven't really handled him because um, I don't have time. You know, I don't. It's not. He's not a pet to be played. Well, in my opinion, you know, it's not a pet that you you kind of play with all the time. So they, they don't care. You know, he doesn't need to be held all the time. Today he was a little bit skittish. He, I mean, no, has he ever attempted to bite me ever in his in his life? Not even look like he's gonna bite me. All all he's looked like he wants to do is to is to run away. Um, ne never wants to bite, but um, yeah. He's a uh, he's a happy chappy. He, you know what they're like when you give them a new environment. So everything's being changed around a little bit. You know they go exploring. Um, he's normally in bed at the moment. I tell you where he does um, where he does sleep. So hardly ever in that one. Never never seen him in that one at all. And that's right under the that's right under the radiant heat panel. So you can see the heat panel is quite a big one down here. Um, but that's right underneath the radiant heat panel. It's about 90 on the floor, on the substrate surface. Um, the substrate's probably about an inch thick. Um, never, never been in there. This log, he goes on overnight religiously. Unless he's in shed every night, about two hours after the lights go off down here, he'll sit on that log, probably for two hours warm up. Um, this middle one, never seen him in there. Never. He likes this one, this tiny little one. In fact, it's getting too getting too small for him now. He needs uh, he's going to need something that's a little bit taller because he actually lifts it off the floor a little bit when he gets in there and he curls up into a into a coil. Um, I have this water um, container here and then one over one over here. Also, he tends to drink out of this one more, but he has drank drunk out of the other one. Um, but yeah, that's where that's where he lives. He, he he doesn't use any of those hides ever. Never seen. Maybe once I've seen him in this one on the left. When when actually that one was there, because I changed them all around just to, uh, you know, uh, enrichment, I guess. But this one religiously goes in. So temperature. I've only just put the um the 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 peat panel back on, so it's not up to temperatures, but. You can see what it's at now, it's 72 Fahrenheit. It gets up to about uh, 75 there, max in there. Must be probably less than that. I guess you're probably about 72 in there. Uh, and he's quite happy here on the floor. It gets up to 90. Humidity is going to be high now for a few days because um, because of the substrate change. But, uh, you know, touch wood, it's never, never affected him yet to have his humidity that high for... For a few days, and it will get so high in here now that the, the glass will fog up, and I can, and I will wash it away religiously with um, paper towel, kitchen towel, um, just to take the moisture away. But uh, yeah, he's getting a big old boy now. He's getting a big old boy. I guess he's uh, I don't know how long, maybe two and three feet. It's probably three feet in length, I guess. I have to measure him. I, I took a picture of him against the back of the. Against the back of the cage, so I can work out how how uh, how long he is. But uh, here you go. Anyone want to guess? You can see him now. The rest of him's coming, and I'll work it out a bit later on. 
but he's a nice boy. But like I say, he's, he was very uh, he was very skittish when I put when when I handled him. I hadn't handled him for two months, so all he wants to do is, you know, it doesn't want anything to do with it. To be honest, he'd rather hide, run away and hide. But I guess you know that's fine. He, that's what they do. There's the back end of his tail, just under the uh, the log there. So if anyone wants to guess how long he is, give it a go. He's over here right now on his uh, his house. But there you go. That's an update on Monty. He looks pretty good, right? He's healthy. Uh, nothing wrong with him whatsoever. He eats um, he eats a rat a week every Tuesday. He's on a weaned rat. Um, see if I can get a bit closer to him. He'll, he'll pull away because, like I say, he's um, why does he want to face the camera? He's a snake. But there you go. Here he is. Like I say, he's not even attempted ever once. Whatever I point at him, shove in his face, he's pretty chilled out. Um, anyway, he hasn't got enough coil on there anyway to get me even if he tried. But there you go, that's Monty. Say goodbye, Monty. Goodbye, Monty.